transits Going all to different places, different planets Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed You like the fast life You like to drive and get down and dirty like, 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 like You want some love, you like when you feel like calling me da, da. Mm, You got the best of me You got me losing speed y'all and welcome back to my channel today's video is another trashed house clean with me the last time I filmed one of these was a few days after Christmas when my house was completely in shambles from just the Christmas madness so this video was after my son's birthday party we had a really fun party day he enjoyed his party so much and we ended up just letting the house go for the whole weekend I didn't worry about doing the dishes I didn't worry about a single thing and you can definitely tell it looking at my house so we are gonna get that cleaned up today it's after dark at this point I put my kids to bed they were supposed to be going to bed but you'll see them up here and there getting water going to the bathroom but I really wanted to have them in bed and I popped my earbuds in I had some music I was listening to the music really helped to keep me motivated it kept me going and it took me until about midnight to get all of this done but it felt so good to have it done I really did not want to wake up one more day to this mess and it's really just the main living area here the kitchen the dining room my living room and also the classroom. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and you get lots of motivation from it. It's very satisfying so get your coffee, your tea, your energy drink and maybe you can clean along with me or just relax and watch me clean. <laughs> So the kitchen was the worst of it. It took me the most time out of all the rooms that I cleaned tonight. I had also cooked dinner in this madness, don't ask me how, but I did and so I had to get that cleaned up as well. It was really hard to cook in a dirty kitchen, but I had to feed my kids. But before I even try to clean up our dinner dishes, I'm gonna clean up all this party mess first. My sink is slap full of dishes right now. It's really hard to even wash your hands in the sink, so I really wanted to get that cleared out. The dishes is what really took me the longest. I filled my dishwasher as full as I could get it, and then there's a lot of stuff that I ended up hand washing. And I had thought about holding on to my Dollar Tree serving bowls and platters, but I ended up just trashing them. I was like, no, I'm not doing it this year. I, they serve their purpose, and that's good enough for me, so I did go ahead and trash those but this kitchen was so bad y'all I really wish that y'all could have seen my floors close up because they were crusty musty there was food on them they were sticky from the punch dispenser so it was it was a hot mess in here y'all I don't normally let my house get this bad but we just really enjoyed our weekend we had his birthday party and then the next day we had some family come over and we just spent the day outside it was a really nice day and I didn't worry about doing anything in this house. It was nice just to live and breathe and not think about the chores that I needed to get done. So I did wanna mention that I don't normally let my house get this bad, but there are times that it does and it's just nice just to let go and breathe. The next birthday will be Kai's. He will be turning 13 years old. I cannot believe I'm about to have a teenager. But this year he wants to go somewhere, do something fun. That's always an option that I give my kids 
with their birthdays, we either go somewhere and we take a friend with us and we just spend that money making memories or we will stay home and we'll have a birthday party where we have our family and friends over. So this year he wants to go do something fun. We have an indoor trampoline park not too far from us and it's a blast especially at night when they turn on all of the black lights and they blast the music. He really enjoys that so we'll be taking a friend with us. He's at that age where he doesn't really care about the birthday parties too much anymore. He wants to go and do something fun he wants to hang out with his friends. A little bit ahead on my filming and editing so I've been able to get some schedules out for you guys I post them on my Instagram stories I post them on my Facebook page and I also post them in the community tab here on YouTube and I try to do that weekly so you guys will know what content I have coming up it would be nice if I could get to a point where I know the whole month what my schedule is so hopefully I can do that someday, but right now I'm on a weekly basis with my schedules. That's just how far I can see in advance. But this week on Wednesday, I'll have a spring homemaking video. I got outside, got my shed organized. I also pressure washed the back side of the house. It was so awful back there. I wanted to take care of that ASAP. We are gonna be having our roof put on in the next couple of months. That's something that's really gotta happen. So I wanna have it done before summer starts. I've been trying to stay debt free as much as possible through this process. So with Christmas and all that, I just had to take a step back from the major stuff and let my budget recover. But like I said, we're going to be having that done very soon and that will be a huge relief. But we have the spring homemaking on Wednesday and then on Sunday, I'm going to be doing my spring clean and decorate. We're going to be decorating for Easter. Normally Easter is in April, but this year it's in March. So I have felt kind of rushed decorating for Easter, but we're gonna go ahead and do that on Sunday the 3rd. And it's also a collab with another sweet friend here on YouTube. So make sure you come back Sunday. And in that video, I will also share what I'm putting in my kids' Easter baskets. I usually take that time to get them ready for the summer. So I'm excited to show you guys what I got them this year. I am so ready for spring and summer this year. I'm ready for the warmer weather. We've had some really pretty days here in Georgia. It's been on the warmer side during the day, but during the night, it's still getting down to the 30s. So I'm ready for that warmer weather. I'm ready for the warm summer nights. I'm ready for the water park, the beach. I'm ready to get out and get some fresh air. So I'm looking forward to doing a lot of fun stuff outside this year. You guys will have to let me know down below what you have planned for this summer. I had thought about getting the kids a pool, but I know that a pool is a very big responsibility and I'm not sure that I'm ready to take that on just yet, but it has been a thought in the back of my mind. It would be something fun for them to do, but at the same time, I will have to deal with the upkeep, so I don't know. But y'all let me know down below what your plans are for the summer. Finally able to move on to our dinner dishes. So I'm gonna get all that put away and then get these pots washed up. My stove was also really crusty, so I'm gonna take my barkeeper's friend and scrub that down, get it shined back up.
all. It felt like the dishes were never gonna end on this night, but this is the last of them. So I'm gonna finish this up and then we are gonna start working on the floors. I'm gonna be vacuuming and mopping with my spin mop. As late as it was, I normally would probably just use my wet dry vacuum, but like I said, my floors were really crusty and they really needed the spin mop tonight. So I'll be doing that. So in the party prep video, we tossed the rug that was in this dining room and it's because it's not a washable rug and my dogs have had accidents on it. I'm not sure what it was about this particular rug, but they loved to have their accidents on that one. So because it wasn't washable and I also could not shampoo it, I had tried to clean it and the shampooer just wasn't working on it. The fibers on it were really thick and short and the shampooer just was not loving that rug. So I ended up throwing it in the trash because it was starting to smell and it was stressing me out. If I get another one, it's gonna have to be something that's washable. That's why I always try to go for washable rugs because I do have kids and pets. My Pomeranian is 14 years old. She turned 14 back in December. And so she's getting to the age where she's having more and more accidents. She goes outside several times a day, but sometimes she just doesn't make it. And she loved that rug in the dining room so I just went ahead and tossed that and maybe in the future I'll get another one if I do it's gonna have to be something that's washable Recently, I had talked about my newfound love for Pine Sol. I am loving it right now. So that's what I've been mopping with every time I mop. I love the way it smells. And it's so weird and funny because when I was a kid, I could not stand the smell of Pine Sol. I remember my grandparents using it and I just could not stand the smell. And I haven't liked it until now, which is so weird. So that's what I'm using to mop with. The house smelled so good when I went to bed, but we're gonna go ahead and move here into the classroom. I'm gonna get all this Play-Doh cleaned up. Unfortunately, this Play-Doh is all dried up, so I'm gonna be trashing that and just getting all their little accessories put away. My desk was also a disaster, so I'm gonna get that cleaned off so that when I wake up tomorrow morning, and I come in here to work, it's not a huge mess in my face. So this is super random, but I have been thinking about dyeing my hair back to its natural color. The blonde was fun for a while and I've really been working on my hair to even get it to this point. I would go periodically for highlights and every time I would go, I would just have her add a little bit more until I got it as blonde as I wanted it. But honestly, I'm kind of over the upkeep and the appointments having to have the roots touched up, which I do have her do the root shadow so that I don't have to go back as often. But honestly, I don't even want to have to go at all because I'm just so over it. I don't like going to the salon. It's never been my thing. And so I'm thinking about just dyeing my hair back to its natural color. That way I don't have to worry about the upkeep. My natural color is like a medium brown color. When I was younger, my hair was pretty blonde and the older that I've gotten, the darker that it's gotten. You guys can see a little bit there in my roots. That is my natural hair color.
also I wanted to quickly thank the person that sent this planner to me I went to my PO box recently and checked that I had not checked that in a while so I had quite a few packages and that was one of them I was able to reach out and thank everybody through messages but this particular package did not have any kind of note inside um, there was no return address or anything so I'm not sure who it was but you know who you are and I just wanted to say thank you I absolutely love it and I can't wait to use it so if you don't mind please send me an email I keep my email in my description box or you can message me on Instagram because I would like to personally thank you All right, moving into the last room, the living room. I was really struggling at this point. I really just wanted to go to bed. My back was hurting, my feet were killing me, but I told myself, no, I'm gonna push through. I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna see it through to the end. And I'm really glad I did because it felt so good to just have it done. When I got done with the kitchen, I really wanted to sit down for a minute, but I made myself keep going because I knew that if I sat down, I was gonna be done for the night. and. I really wanted to get this done. So this is the last room. We're gonna power through. These are raised Barbies that are in here. So what I'm gonna do is clean all of that up, but I'm not gonna take it to their room until tomorrow because they were asleep and I did not wanna risk <laughs> waking them up. So I'm gonna set those on the table in the dining room and I'll get those put away tomorrow. just how therapeutic it feels to clean at night most of the time I get all of my cleaning done during the day and I'm just too tired to do anything at night but it is nice to clean after dark when everybody's in bed and you just have the house to yourself you can really focus on the cleaning and you're not being interrupted and also it just gives me time to think i can actually hear my own thoughts and process everything the next morning when we got up my head just felt clear so i think it was a combination of getting my house in order and just being able to think and hear my own thoughts but here in a second, I'm going to show you guys some realistic afters. It's a big, big difference from what it was before. So be sure to stay tuned until the very end. By the way, thank you guys for all of the love on my part two living room makeover. I did end up sticking with option four on the pictures above my TV. That one seemed to be a really popular vote. And then I believe option three was a close second but thank you guys for all of your feedback on that video if you missed it i will link it in the description box below but we added the accent chair and some new decor kind of to fill in those gaps around in this room so like i said if you missed that i will have it linked in the description box below
y'all so much for watching today. I hope that you got lots of motivation out of this video. The house felt so good and it was so nice to wake up to the next morning. I know I've said that so many times in this video, but it really was truly so satisfying. Now this is realistic afters. There's a few dishes in my sink that was collected after, you know, I had washed everything and ran the dishwasher. But honestly, is anybody's sink ever completely empty? I know mine's not, but remember to leave a butterfly emoji down in the comments. I wanted to show you guys a clip of the clock when I finished. I was also still in my ice maker air dry. I like to let that air dry before I put it away in the cabinet. But thank you guys for watching. I hope y'all have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.